Ciao friends! Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today I am going to show you another one of my patchwork squares. This little baby footprint. Which I think is so cute. Would be so cute as an addition to a patchwork blanket for a baby present. I just thought it was cute. It took me a little while to get this one the way that I wanted it to. But now that I'm so proud of it, I'm going to share it with you. All of these are made with Karen Simply Soft. So I'm just going to use a different shade of my Caron today because I don't want to look at blue anymore because I've played with this one for too long. This one I think is Orchid, so I thought that would show up. It's going to be kind of a kind of a pinky purple. I like it. So we're going to make this little foot and you also get to learn the popcorn stitch. Hooray! So let's get started. All of these squares are 25 by 25 so they'll fit in nicely with any other patchwork things that you're probably doing because that seems to be kind of a standard size 25 stitches this way 25 rows this way and so if we're going to have 25 stitches we want to chain 26 and do that loosely because we'll be working in those back bumps One. Four, twenty-five, and twenty-six. All right, there's my chain of twenty-six, and now we're going to take our chain, turn it over, so we can find all these little back bumps, these back loops back here, all the way down. We want to work one single crochet into every one of those. Every bump gets one single crochet, so we change twenty-six, which means we are going to end up with a row of twenty-five single crochets in these little back bumps when we're done. Now it takes an extra few seconds to do these back bumps but it makes a very nice finished edge for if you're going to be building some kind of a patchwork blanket or a patchwork cardi or if you're attaching them to granny squares you really want to have a nice finished edge. So I'll meet you in just a second. And here's my last little back bump right there, single crochet. And I think I said this was orchid. This is blackberry. This is a happy little purple. And this is my five millimeter prim, one of my babies. This is a five millimeter. That's what the product band calls for on a Karen, so that's what I'm using. I believe in this one I used a four when I was working this one up, but I'm using a five today. You can use whatever one you want as long as it works with your yarn. Go for it. All right, so there's row one. Row two is the same. Chain one, turn your work, and then do a row of single crochets. 25 single crochets all the way down. And then my last single crochet in row two. There we go. Starting to work up very nicely chain one turn our work and this will be a popcorn roll. Firstly, in this in this particular graph that I made, the first 11 of row three will all just be single crochets. So do 11 single crochets and then we get to make a popcorn stitch. And 11 and now popcorn stitch. It's a little tricky, not terrible, but you end up having to take your hook out of your working yarn and work back through some stitches. I'm going to show you as easiest way that I possibly can. So uh, normally a popcorn stitch it would be double crochets. I found that that's a little bit too bulky so I'm going to use half double crochets. So we want, in this next stitch, I want five half double crochets. So let's yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. One, two, three, four, and five. Those are all in the same stitch. Now we're going to loosen up a little bit, take our hook out, and count backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Find our very first half double crochet, which is right here. Put our working loop back on our hook, pull through the back, 
and chain one to close. Now we have a big poof, just like this, right down here. There's a big poof. And now this row gets one single crochet in between our popcorns. So there's my single crochet. We're going to do another popcorn. So again, that was five half double crochets in the same stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Take out our hook, go back to our first half double crochet, one, two, three, four, and that's this guy right here. Put our hook back through from the front to the back, grab our working loop, pull through to the, from the back, and chain one to close up that little bobble, our little popcorn. And now we're right down here, one more single crochet in between our popcorns, and another popcorn stitch. So again, that was yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Do that five times. And there's number five, all in the same stitch. Pull out a little bit, one, two, three, four, and there's my first half double crochet from the front to the back. Grab your working loop again, tighten it up, pull through from the back and chain one to close up our popcorn. And now the rest of them, there's nine stitches left down to the end. Those are all single crochet. All the way to the end. And there's eight and number nine. There we go, there's our first row of popcorn. Isn't that fun? You can see that they're poofy, but they're kind of poofy up. We want them to poof out. So the way that you do that with a popcorn stitch is every other row, just a row of single crochet. So we're gonna chain one, turn our work, and we want to single crochet all the way down, keeping our stitch count at 25, I'll show you what you do at the bobbles here in a second. So these first nine are single crochet, easy peasy, easy to find. Six, seven, eight, and nine. And now I'm to my popcorn, my bobble. We want one in this big old popcorn right here. Right here, there's a little sideways bar. You'll be able to see right there. And I bet my editor can pull that in for you. Right here. There's a little angled piece, little angled loop. We want to do our single crochet in there. Just like that. And then there's single crochet in between our bobbles. And here's another, here's another popcorn. But there's that sideways piece, that sideways loop right there single crochet and there's a normal one right there single crochet and here's our last popcorn right here this little sideways bar single crochet and then there's our last 11 single crochets easy peasy such a fun textured stitch and it's so easy to do kind of seems intimidating, but I wanted everybody to see how easy it really can be. And there's my last stitch. That's the back side. So now we're going to chain one, turn our work so we can make another row of popcorns. So we're on our second row of popcorns, which are these guys right here. So it's going to be nine stitches are just regular old single crochet. Eight and nine and then we get to do a popcorn which again remember five half double crochets in the same stitch. Three, four, and five. Pull out just a little bit so we don't lose our working loop. One, two, three, four, go back 
five to our first half double crochet. Put our working loop back on our hook, pull through the back, and chain one to close our popcorn. And now in between our popcorns on this row, there's seven. The next seven are just single crochets. Seven, and then we get to do another popcorn. Five half doubles in the same stitch. And five. Let our working yarn just a little bit. Remove our hook. One, two, three, four. There's number five. That's my first half double crochet. Replace our working yarn. Pull through the back. Chain one to close our popcorn. And now the last Last seven stitches are just single crochet. And number seven. Chain one, turn our work, and there's our row of single crochets are common. So we'll do these first seven. They're just regular single crochets, easy to find. number seven and now we have to find this little sideways bar right here on the behind our popcorn right there and single crochet and then continue with our normal ones to our next popcorn And there's my little sideways sideways loop right here. There's my single crochet behind my popcorn. And then all the rest are just single crochets all the way down that are super easy to find. This is a very easy beginner stitch. It's really not very complicated, but it looks really cool. And it looks complicated, but it is not. And there's my last stitch. All right, chain one turn our work so we're ready to do another row of popcorns. So that was row five and row six was the single crochet. So you can see every other row is a single crochet so now we're ready to make more popcorns. So row seven, the first seven are going to be singles. Just single crochet for seven times. And then we get to do our popcorn. Five half doubles in the same stitch. Remove our hook, go back to our first half double crochet. Replace our working loop. Pull through, chain one to close. And now in between our popcorns here, there's nine. Nine single crochets. That's for exactly for making this little tiny baby footprint, which I think is so cute. And now as my number, there's nine, so now we get to make a popcorn. One, two, three, four, and five. Go back to our first half double crochet, go through that top, through that stitch, replace our loop, pull through the back, chain one to close, and all the rest are single crochets, and there should be seven stitches to the end. Yep, and there's number seven. There's my last one. 
So there's our popcorn row. So the next row is a chain one turn your work and everything is a single crochet all the way down making sure that you keep your stitch count at 25. And we'll go with this little black bar, this little sideways stitch right here behind our popcorn. That's where we put our single crochet there. Single crochets in all the other, all the way through, all the way down. Alright, we're to another popcorn. So we're going to go under this little, di this little sideways bar right here. And our single crochet goes there. And then single crochet all the way down. This is going to make the cutest little baby blanket. And there's my last stitch. Now we'll chain one and turn our work so we can make another row of popcorn stitches. Yay! So we're this is starting row nine. The first six are single crochet. And then we get to do a popcorn. One, two, three, four, five. There's my first half double crochet. Replace my loop, pull through the back chain one to close. Right, there's my popcorn and now the, in between our popcorns on this particular row there are another eight single crochets. And there's number eight and another popcorn. And then these last all the way to the end are single crochets. Seven, eight, and nine. So that was row 9. Row 10 is chain 1, turn your work and single crochets all the way behind. All the way down, 25 stitches. And there's our little sideways bar behind the popcorn stitch. Single crochet there. And another popcorn stitch right there. And then single crochet all the way to the end. And there's my last stitch. And chain one, turn our work, and our next popcorn row. We are right here. This works up really fast. We're already on row 11. So row 11, the first five stitches are single crochet. And then we'll do a popcorn after those five. Through that stitch. Put our loop back on, chain one to close, and now the next eight are single crochet, and there's eight, and a popcorn, and then my last ten in this row are single crochet. So that popcorn row is done. Chain one, turn your work, and do your single crochet row. Remember that always in between a popcorn row, the other direction is single crochet, making sure that you keep your stitch count. And there's my last single crochet in row 11. Chain one, I'm sorry, row 12, because that was the single crochet in between. Chain one, turn our work. We're ready for the next row of popcorns. So the first five our single crochet and a popcorn. Chain one, close your work there, close up your popcorn bobble. And now in between we want to do ten before our next popcorn stitch. So 10 single crochets. And 10. And we get to do a popcorn again. Chain one to close and then all the way down to the end. The next eight 
is single crochet. And here's number eight. See, we're already up here. We're over halfway done. That's how quickly these work up. Chain one, turn our work, and do our single crochets all the way down. And there's my last stitch. And my single crochet row. Chain one, turn our work, and we are ready to do another row of popcorns. So this is row 15. The first five are single crochet, then there's a popcorn, and then there's 12 and a popcorn. And there's my number five popcorn. Place my loop, chain one to close, and then the next 12. There's 12 in between our popcorns. There's my 12, and now I get to do another popcorn, which I think is a really fun stitch. And then single crochet to the end. That row was five popcorn, 12 popcorn, and six. Chain one, turn our work, and do our single crochets all the way down. And four and 25. 25 in my single crochet row. Chain one, turn your work, and now we can work on our next popcorn row. All right, we're on for the next popcorn row. This is where we have a toe. So notice this one's different. This one's way bigger. I'm gonna show you how to do that my little creation and I thought it worked out beautifully. So the first three are single crochets. And my little toe is a bigger popcorn stitch. We are going to do ten half double crochets. Ten half double crochets in the same stitch instead of five to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to mark that stitch so we can find it again easier and everyone will be able to see. So there's my first half double crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. You still want to go back and find your first half double crochet. It just happens to be ten away instead of five. So this is, see, this is, little fan is way bigger. So there's our stitch that we marked. That's where I want to put my hook and I still want to grab my working yarn. Everything about it is the same. I just made ten half double crochets instead of five. And chain one to close. Take that marker out for now. But see how much bigger he is? Now he's a toe, which I think is just so cute. It took me a while to get to figure out exactly what I wanted to do there. It just wasn't working up. But now I think it's perfect. So we want to do three more single crochets in the, uh, the next three stitches, each get a single. And then we're going to do the normal five half double crochets. Kind of a popcorn. There's number four and number five. There's my first half double crochet. Replace my loop. Pull through the back and chain one to close. And now the next nine, there's nine in between, nine single crochets in between my popcorns. There's number nine, another popcorn stitch. The five half double crochets and close. And then our last stitches. There should be seven of them left. Those are all single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, and seven. See, now my toe is kind of sticking up. That was going to be fixed with our row of single crochets. It's going to push it forward like this instead of having it stick up like that. So doing the chain one, turn our work and do our single crochets all the way down just like we always do every other row. All right, and now we have made it to our little toe. So we want to find that little sideways bar again, right in here, right there. And that's where we put our single crochet. And then there's our last three, They're just single crochets. Keeping your stitch count at 25. Don't want to drop or add a stitch. There we go. You can barely tell anything's going on until you turn it over, then it's all lumpy. Chain one, turn our work, and we're ready for our next row. This will be row 19. Alrighty, so there we go. See our little toe just poofing out now instead of sticking up. He's poofed out and forward like he's supposed to be. Ray. So let's work on row 19. The first 10 are single crochets. Ten, and then we do a popcorn and chain one to close and we're right here so there's three in a row but there is a single crochet in between each popcorn so one single and there's our, then we get our second popcorn stitch and a single crochet in between and one more popcorn in this row And then you single crochet all the way down to the end. And there was ten. There we go. We're almost done, almost done, almost done. See how cute that is? All right, chain one, turn your work and do your single crochets all the way down. And there's my last stitch. Yay. There we go. Chain one, turn our work. Another bobble or another popcorn row. We're up here already. We just finished here, so we're almost done. We're up here now. So we want to do our first six stitches as just single crochet. Four, five, and six. And now we need to make another toe, just like this guy. So you remember he was ten half double crochets instead of five, but everything else is the same. So I'm going to mark this first stitch so it's easy to find and easy to see on TV here or on camera for you. So there's my one. We want ten half double crochets in that same stitch. Two. Just like we did before, we're going to take our hook out and go into our first half double crochet, which happens to be ten away instead of five. That's the only difference. Replace our working yarn, turn that up, pull through, chain one to close, and then I can take that out. Well, that row is pretty darn easy because the rest of it is all single crochets. Just one little toe. 17 and 18 all the way down. So we had six and a toe and then the rest all the way down. The rest of those 18 are single crochets. But you see this one's poofing up. We want him to push forward. So it's time for a row of single crochet. Just chain one, turn your work and do all of your singles all the way down. All right, and here we are back to our toe. He's bigger but he still has this little sidebar right here. Even if he's bigger, 
still the same. And that's where we want our single crochet. And then our last six are singles also. And six. There we go. We're almost done. Almost done. Chain one, turn our work, and we get to do our last popcorn row. This one is interesting. It's right up here. This one will be interesting. Okay, the first ten are just single crochet. So we'll do our ten. One, eight, nine, and ten. And then we want to do another toe like this one. The ten half double crochets instead of five. We're doing ten. Mark that first stitch so it's easy to find and easy to see on screen. There's, a, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten half double crochets in that same stitch. Go back to the one that we marked. We want to put our hook through there, grab a working loop, pull through, and chain one to close. And then we can take this one out. Now in between these two toes, right here, we have three single crochet. three and another toe so that is ten half doubles in the same stitch there's my first one doubles in the same stitch. Go back to the one that we marked. That's where I want my hook. Grab my working loop, pull through, chain one to close. So that was our second little toe in that one. And before we get to our big toe, there are four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And now our big toe is even crazier. These were fives. These other toes were tens. This guy is 15, so he's just a little bit bigger. So this one is a little bit tighter in this space. We got 15 half double crochets going into the same stitch. So there's number one, and I marked it. and 15 half double crochets in the same stitch. Whew. Now you can see that's way more stitches, way bigger. But they have marked, we marked this stitch so it's easy to find. Go through our first half double crochet, replace our working loop, pull through, chain one to close and remove our stitch marker and then the last five stitches are just a normal single crochet to the end. There we go, that was our last row of popcorns. We have to chain one, turn our work and do our row of single crochets and we get 
to our big toe. See, even though it's bigger, it still has this little or this little uh, horizontal little sideways bar right here. That's where we want our single crochet. And then continue all the way down. And there's my last stitch. That's row 24. Chain one, turn our work. That was row 24. There are 25 rows. So this is just as easy as it could possibly be. We always finish off with just a row of single crochet all the way down to make a nice edge that matches our first edge. And my last two last one. Yay! There we go. Now all I have to do is finish this guy off, so just snip, pull through. See all of our cute little toes? Little tiny toes are so cute. This would be absolutely adorable in a baby blanket. You can match it up with granny squares or other patchwork, whatever other patchworks you have. But it'd be so cute in a baby's blanket, isn't it adorable? There's the blue one. This one I made with a four and a half. This one was a five. So you can see you make it a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, just depending on the hook. Same stitches, just the hook. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.